No. Yes, yes, I do. Wait, that that's not what I'm trying to say. So I had a nice conversation with my mother today, and it reminded me of my ch- childhood, and not the entire childhood, but a, a small part of my childhood. And you have to understand about this particular story. When I was in grade school, each week we would have a spelling test. And spelling tests each week were one of those things that I did not look forward to. You could even go so far as to say I loathed them to some degree. I didn't understand why words were spelt the way they were. I don't completely understand it to this day. But I'm a little bit better at memorizing them. And I hated memorizing. I was terrible at memorizing. I don't know if it was because I just didn't put my mind to it or... Yeah, I don't know why. But my wonderful blessed mother, hi mom, would spend what I think is hours. It's hard to tell because my my perception of time is different now that I'm a little bit older. She would spend lots of time with me, helping me review the words, quizzing me on them, helping me with tips on how to remember how the words were spelt. I remember really not liking it and probably being somewhat of a twerp about it. (laughs) And it's interesting to reflect back on those experiences and that time in my life. And I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to tell my mom that I'm grateful for her help in helping me to be a better person and spending her time and energy helping me to try to memorize those words for the spelling test. And I guess that's my free advice for the day. If you have a loved one that hasn't passed on yet, maybe there's a better way to say that. If you have loved ones who you have not told that you love them or you're grateful for some sacrifice they've made, do it. One of the wonderful blessings of time and experience is it gives you a new perspective on things. I have realized that I could have been a lot more cooperative and grateful at the time, but I was young and I didn't understand. So thank you, mother. Thank you for being patient with me. I love you. Don't worry, dad. I love you too. (laughs) Have a great St. Patrick's Day. I don't really know what that holiday is about.